Hello children, let's today do some multiple choice questions based upon the topic circles. So the first one is here, if the diameter of a circle is 20 centimeter, its radius will be, we know that this distance is known as radius and radius is half of the diameter. Now here, diameter is 20 centimeter. So we are going to divide it by 2. So after division we get 10. So the correct answer is option B that is 10 centimeter. Second question, if the radius of a circle is 2.5 centimeter, its diameter is what? So now children see that this distance is known as the diameter. That is the line segment joining any two points on the boundary of a circle and passing through the center. Now this diameter is twice of the radius. So here we are going to multiply this 2 by 2.5 centimeter. And after multiplication we get 5.0 centimeter. So this is 5 centimeter. Now option A is the correct answer here. A circle has dash sides. We know very well that a circle has no sides. So the correct answer is option A. Circle has zero sides. Question number four is there. A line segment that connects center to any point on the circle is called dash. We know that this point O is called as the center of the circle and here A is any point on the boundary of a circle. When we join O to A, we get radius. So, option A is the correct option here. Which of the following can be used to trace a circle? We know that cube and ball. They are three dimensional shapes. So, we can use a coin to trace a circle. So, the option B is the correct one here. Sixth question. Radius is dash the diameter of the circle. This distance is called the radius and this distance is called diameter. So we know that radius is half of the diameter. So here the option B is the correct option. Seventh question. The distance around a circle is its dash. We know that the distance around the circle is called its circumference. So C is the correct option here. Eighth question. A diameter of a circle divides it into dash equal parts. Children this distance is the diameter and you can clearly see that it divides circle into two equal parts so here option B is the correct option ninth question half of a circle is known as semicircle you can see clearly this portion is the half of a circle and it is semicircle. Similarly, this is another half portion and it is called semicircle. Question number 10. The center of a circle is always in its dash. We know that this point is called as the center and it is in the interior. So, center of a circle is always inside the circle. So children, I hope you have learned very useful information about circles from this video.